for dimes. Everywhere. Front and back. What's going on, Lester? Our show is new. It hurts like hell. He's got a hard rest rate of 36. Pulse ox is only 82. We're switching to a non-rebreather mask at 10 liters. Do we have a blood gas report? VO2 is only 55. PCO2, 28. Okay, you're breathing way too hard for way too much oxygen, Lester. We're prepped for thoracic CT. Perfect. His renal function's good. Lester, are you allergic to these shellfish or die? Oh. Oh. No. Okay, let's inject him. Lester, this is going to be difficult, but you have to remain still, okay? You understand? Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. I don't usually see you prepping the CT. If this morning's procedure caused a pulmonary embolism, mea culpa. Let's just give it a moment and see. It's not from the surgery. He's got a fusiform clot in his inferior vena cava. Look at the size of that thing. It begins at his hepatic vein insertion, reaches to the right atrium, and is migrating through his patent foramen ovale. That clot from hers, he'll stroke out and die. I'm gonna have to crack his chest to retrieve the clot out of his heart. There's no way I can get to the infradiaphragmatic portion. It's back set to his liver. Do you think you can get in there? Well, I could, but I don't know if Lester can survive the trauma. Do you think what I'm thinking? Yeah. Call Dr. Bavel. Okay, so we're clear. I'll manually do the sternotomy and put him on cardiac bypass. By the time I've stopped the heart and gotten to the embolism... I'll have used the reposal to incise the inferior vena cava and flank this bitch. She needs the hell out of the skidman transplant. This time, the patient survives.